Day two of school. Yeah. Ashley is the first out the door, right? Yeah. She has normal start, but all the other kids have a late start. So she's the first one to go. Yeah. So the other ones are all still inside getting ready. Um, I got up and showered early this morning. I was awake at 7 a.m. Didn't roll out until 7.30. I've got to go and fix my phones now. So I have turned my old phone back on. If you were not here for yesterday's video. Well, I'm just trying to activate my new iPhone and I guess uh, the person I was just helping with customer service wasn't able to do so. We don't really know why it's not being activated, but it's not. Okay, so I understand what you're calling in about. Uh, here's the bad news. Uh, I still don't know if it's a SIM card related. Go and watch that one. So now I have my new phone that doesn't work. I'm gonna go take that one back to Verizon as soon as I can get Chelsea on the bus. If it was any other day but the second day of school, I would probably just tell her, get on the bus, I gotta go. Because Verizon opens in like 20 minutes. But I'm gonna be a good mom and like make sure she gets on the bus. Yesterday, funny story, I'll tell you as we walk here. Chelsea said they got halfway to school, which includes like going on a highway, trying to like block my address. So they went, they got like halfway down to the school and they realized the bus driver forgot to stop. <laughs> no, he didn't forget to stop. A kid wasn't there. So well, it doesn't matter. If you miss the bus, you miss the bus. Yeah. So anyway, they turned around and came clear back home. Chelsea was an hour late to school. So, you know, okay. that's how her day went yesterday. But let's get yeah. her on the bus. <laughs> All right, mom duties and Sue back at home. Like I said, everyone's here. I don't think that didn't get started. So I'm gonna finish loading that and get, I'm gonna ask Chelsea. Maybe you could just make sure, Kaylee, that um, Chelsea gets on the bus yeah. so that I can head over to the store, fix my phone. But I am gonna straighten up a little bit. I have a load of laundry that I didn't pull yesterday. So I think I'm gonna get that started. Have not had breakfast. I'd rather get my phone fixed and not have to wait in a huge line. And the quicker I get to arrive, the less chance of a long line that I have. So, I'm gonna finish this really quick. Talk to Chelsea. Chelsea, can you come here? Yeah, see there's already soap in there. I forgot to start it yesterday. So I have stopped drinking the super good carnation breakfast drinks because there's too much sugar in them. So, that's kind of sad. I am looking into trying to find some kind of a protein drink that I can drink or a shake that I can make out of a protein powder. So if any of you have any of those that you use, I don't mind buying like the big protein powders and stuff from Costco or like a chocolate. I like chocolate or I'm not really a huge fan of vanilla, but if I could add it, something else. But anyway, if any of you have something like that that you use, I'm not like into having green shakes and I don't know if that can go straight to that, but I wouldn't mind having like a peanut butter protein shake or something. I don't know, put your ideas down below because on these you know, quick mornings, I don't have time to sit down and eat a breakfast and I don't really even know what to eat, aside from like peanut butter toast or something like that, um, or eggs. I just need something that I can drink and go. So put your ideas below if you have any. Okay, you guys, that was so fast to get a new SIM card and get my phone actually working that I might actually beat the bus again. I actually just ran down here because I just got nervous about getting stuck in a line with the store being open just now. And it closed yesterday, because I talked to two people yesterday. They were like, well, I'll be here right at nine. So now I'm gonna try and rush back up to meet Chelsea. She's hopefully out and getting on the bus. She's the last one to get on the bus. Kaylee and Abby have already gone to school. I saw that their buses were on time, which was good. I don't think I'm gonna beat Chelsea, but I actually forgot all of my returns to Target. Even though I'm right here by Target, you can see it. I forgot all of my returns. And I haven't had breakfast. So I'm gonna go home, check that she got on the bus, and then um, get breakfast, get the returns, and come back to Target. And then I think I'll go edit. <gasps> no, hurry, just come and say goodbye. You're not gonna get run over. Your bus is right there. Okay, have a good day, bye. Score one for mom. Beat the bus by 30 seconds. <laughs> had to come down and follow the bus all the way down the hill. But then I had a shortcut and I got ahead of the bus. <laughs> So I was able to make sure that Chelsea was on it. Say hi to her really quick. Embarrass her. It's my duty. Get my returns. I have five returns. And then 
Why isn't it in drive? We're going to Target. I decided to not eat breakfast. Welcome home. You tired? <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna let you take a nap though. I'm gonna keep you going. So you're tired tonight again. It's catching up and it's good. So a friend of mine stopped by. She watched my videos, you guys. Look how cute. So you know who you are and I know you're gonna watch another video. So thank you. She wrote me a little card. Um, she watched my video about, well you guys know. If you know, you know. So that was very sweet and we just talked and you know, just kind of working through it and it was just very sweet of her to say, okay, you opened the door to the conversation so let's have the conversation. And it was very sweet. That was a nice card, very cute. I'll read that in a second. But Ashley got home and she did the bus by herself, came off of um, the bus and came home. She thought I wasn't home and that's why she came to the garage, right? Yeah. Smart girl. But now you can just come home and hopefully I'll be here and then if I'm not here, go to the garage. Just wanna teach her some independence. Usually she has Chelsea with her and they run home, grab a snack and go back out to play but she's doing it by herself now. We're gonna unpack her lunch. She's getting a snack and she says she wants to try and go find some tennis shoes so that they feel better on her feet. She has some new shoes for school but they're not run and play kind of shoes. They're just cute shoes. <laughs> So, and we also need tennis shoes that are more waterproof. Part of the problem with like some tennis shoes is they have like that mesh waffle material on the top and those are not waterproof and we need to have like better shoes for the when the rain hits because it's coming. I'm going to edit while she has her little snack over there. Then we'll go out. Got socks? You got a mask? Let's go look and find some shoes. Yeah. But remember, we're not gonna be upset if we don't find them. I know. We're okay with that for a little while while we have your other shoes to wear. Mm. Remember, I'll have you watch this video again if we get upset at the end. Okay? I'm tired. <laughs> okay. Half of why I'm actually here is to prevent her from falling asleep at home <laughs> because she's so tired. Last night, you guys, I had everyone asleep, including Jason, by 9.30. <laughs> I stayed up till 11, because I was like, what? The, I mean, it was utter silence. These guys were passed out. How many, did you take melatonin last night? Nope, only one. <laughs> one melatonin yeah, just, out. Did she take some? Yeah, she took one too. Yeah. They're tired, and that's good. It means they're having a good day. But it also means we're back on schedule. It's fabulous. But I know you don't like second, it as much. Well, the second day we're off schedule. Yeah, the second day they're even more tired. So great. Okay, our first ones are these little Nikes. Actually, look really good. All the other tennis shoes have like this mesh in the front, so I can't do that. It just they get soaking wet in the rain. So I need to have more of this style leather so that they don't get wet. So it sort of slips on the edge. Yeah, like it like, 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 Okay, maybe we go down a side. Walk around. got shoes and I think we're gonna get some athletic socks over at Marshall's yeah. right because here it's $20 for a pair of socks okay so we just are gonna walk next door you guys always advocate for your price these were marked the entire section that I showed you fortunately I didn't get it on camera what the price was it was marked at $34.99 the entire section of white oh yeah hang on let me do this real quick of white Nikes like this the entire thing was marked at $34.99 and they rang up for $45. And I was like, nope. And he's like, well, things have been getting moved around with back to school. And I was like, that's not my problem. You have an entire section marked at a certain price. You have to honor that. Do your job and move it around if you want, but you honor your price. So we got them for the lower price. So not only can you get 10 pairs here at Marshall's for $6.99, but you could also get them for $4.50. And that's why we come down here. These are a little too big for you, boo. Yeah. 
Okay, we're gonna show here. These are the girls' sock choices. We've got one pair of athletic socks, and then the rest of the babies, and then all of these for the boys. Doesn't quite seem fair, huh? Yeah, because they're... Okay, we found socks. Finally. Here, hand me the socks. Finally found socks there. Yeah, we... So we had to go and look up front for the socks. Um, that front section is where they get you. So, we didn't pay $20 for a six pack of socks at Dick's, and we didn't even pay $7.99 for the first pair of socks that we saw. We got a 10 pack for $3.99. And she's okay with having these ones be black, gray, and pink. She doesn't mind the black. The gray. Okay. It'll be fine. But it is frustrating that they don't have as many girl choices for athletic socks. They have the frou-frou ones. We already have a few of those, but they don't work as well with athletic socks, or with athletic shoes. Let me see. She just got these cute little Nikes, and they'll work out. It's like totally whitewashed, but they're gonna work out good for you, mm -hmm. right? Yep. You gotta keep them clean. Can you not play in the mud hole? Well. Don't play in the mud hole. I, you're not even allowed. Are you not even allowed to play over there? Yeah, you're not even allowed to. Thank you, COVID rules. <laughs> She's kind of complaining that recess is already kind of boring. It is. Because they can't get very close to each other and certain sections are, yeah. right? Okay, buckle up, we're going home. We're gonna beat the bus again. We gotta oh, get home wait. before Chelsea gets home. Not, not necessarily, oh, sorry. Wait. Oh. We're not gonna, we don't have to get home. She can just go home, but. I would like to be there right when she gets there. See how her day went. 